Hey folks, how's it going? I want to share with you this document that I've put together. And in fact, this document was put together both by me and by students in one of my on-ground classes. So we kind of wrote a paper together as this model paper. And in this document, I've included the thesis and I've also included some body paragraphs that give you a sense of what I'm looking for in project two. So if you look here, you can see that we have a thesis that's multi-claimed and I've actually numbered the claims down here. Uh, and also in this thesis, you can see that I've highlighted the logical transition language, just as I'm asking you guys to use this logical transition language between claims. The point is that in this thesis, I'm not asking you to give me a single claim and support. Rather, I'm asking for you to give me a collection of claims. And so if you read this, hopefully you can see how that collection of claims gives us the sense that we're entering into a conversation about an idea. We're not just getting this one-sided, uh, vehement argument about an idea. So you can take a look at that uh, in this first page. As you continue through the document, you'll see that I have a variety of different body paragraphs. The first body paragraph I've included is a body paragraph that uses no outside research at all. The only thing in this body paragraph is my own thinking or, or the students thinking because we put this together uh, as a class. And so if you look through here, uh, I've actually color coded the annotations. So you can take a look at the claim. You can uh, up here in yellow, you can take a look at how we've returned to the claim as we put the paragraph together and also how we end on that claim. Must you do that in your own writing? You do not necessarily have to, but you do have to make sure that each of the body paragraphs that you're writing has a main idea or a claim and that that claim is very clear. You can also see the different modes of reasoning that are in here, uh, the comparison and the contrast, the multiple small examples, etc. And finally, as you look through here, you can see I highlighted the qualifying language. Uh, again, in your own work, I'll be looking for you to use some of that qualifying language to demonstrate a respect for and an understanding of different positions that could exist. The next paragraphs here are research paragraphs. In other words, there's outside quotations that are embedded. And so generically, you can take a look at how we bring in outside research. So if you look at the middle of this paragraph, you can see where we've written, in the Time article, Why Reality Television is the New Family TV, TV critic James Poniewozik discusses the benefits that exist in these newer genres of reality television. We're providing a context for the information we're going to bring in. We're not just bringing in that information and it's just coming from anywhere. And we do this because we want to demonstrate that we have a solid understanding of the article from which we're borrowing the information. That's a real credibility move. So you can see that both in this paragraph and also in the paragraph up here. Also, again, I've annotated all of the information in here, or I've color-coded all of that information, so you can see the different modes of reasoning and the other kind of academic moves that are happening in these paragraphs. So feel free to take a look. I think a study of this will give you a good understanding of what I'm looking for in this second paper and in the second draft. Finally, I've put all of this information together uh, in MLA format. So you can just take a look at what your final paper will look like. Uh, you've got your name and uh, the date, my name, your title, all that good stuff. And then you can see that it's in Times New Roman 12 point font. So I hope that this little kind of draft cheat sheet here will give you a strong understanding of what the expectations are for project two. If you have questions, as always, let me know. Oh, final point, this isn't a complete draft, but it does give you a good understanding. Take care.